change the truth of God into a lie. Now they say it's okay. Now they say it's all right for you to do whatever the heck you want to do. No. God just said, for them to walk around and saying that's okay for another man to lay with a man and a woman with a woman, that is a lie. They are changing the truth of God into lies. Our people, our men and women have learned to be gay, to be in that sodomite agenda, to actually, where they say, you know what, it's okay for a woman to sleep with another woman. It's okay for another man to sleep with another man. People go to church on Sunday and a pastor will not fix it. They won't even correct them. Why they stand up when they see that person is in that spirit. They won't even inquire to help them out at all. But that's why your brother showed up today. Because we're going to help our people understand this thing. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, uh -huh. as with womankind. Uh -huh. It is abomination. Not now, that just said that a man is not to lie with another man, and a woman is not to lie with another woman. It is an abomination unto God. But these things, we got, we got, we got so-called thugs walking around today, and they sleep with other dudes. Don't make no sense, but they hard, though. They hard for the dudes. So got there in shame. But that's what our people be doing, and they act like they tough, but that's what they live in. So now that says our men and women are not supposed to do that. Because if we do, do you understand? Do you understand if our men and women are sleeping with each other like that, if a woman is sleeping with a woman, can she have a baby? If a man is sleeping with another man, can he have a baby? Because what they're doing is committing genocide. Literally killing off your own people because you choose not to recreate yourself. I can't recreate myself with another man. It's not possible. So therefore, I'm killing my own community and my own people because I choose my own lust to go fall after something that another nation of people taught us. Which is exactly what happened to us in Egypt before and in this same Egypt today. Our people are living dead, walking around here like zombies. This whole place is zombies because our people think that stuff is okay and won't correct it. Read that again. Thou shalt not lie with mankind uh -huh. as with womankind. Uh -huh. It is abomination. It is an abomination. Now go to Revelation 21. And I want an abomination in there. Because we can't get to heaven living like that because now they got different Bibles coming out. You got uh, 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 the Sodomite Bible. What are they talking about? A gay Bible. Just made it up. So in that Bible, now you got instead of Adam and Eve, you got Adam and Steve. That don't make no sense. Ain't no way in the world God going to do that and then say, you know what? Hey, I'm going to give y'all the law to go and multiply each yourselves. How are you going to do that if you gave Adam, Adam and Steve? He can't do it. So people literally mock God and lie and play around with the way he do things, the way he told us to be. And they say, I'm going to do what I want to do. And pastors won't even check it. Revelation, the 21 verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderous and whoremongers uh -huh. and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. So after all, so our people think they can live to be liars, to be murderers, to go and sleep, to be in a, li in a lifestyle of sodomy where a man is with a man or a woman is with a woman and they think that they're going to get to heaven. This just said, you are going to die the second death where you're going to burn forever. That's what we just read. People that live, that go throughout their life breaking the Sabbath, they want to work on today. They want to cook pork and feed it to the people on today. Ain't no different than another man sleeping with another man, though. Same thing. 
God just said all of those people that do not fix that are waiting for their part in the lake of fire. That's what we just read. That is exactly what we just read. But our people will play around with that and won't change nothing. And then they think that they're going to go through this life and God ain't going to punish them. That's why we got people riding up today, just riding up, giving them phone numbers and information. Look, I, my, in my neighborhood, a young brother just got killed across the street. How does that keep happening in our neighborhoods and you in a little city where there's only three, four thousand people? 70 percent black. Literally, people are getting killed across the street from each other when everybody here know everybody. Everybody here know everybody. But yet and still, the community is what it is because ain't nobody showing no love of God toward each other. They are literally killing each other and then they stand up and say, you know what? It's, it's not a problem. It's not a problem to do what I want to do. And then God will put you behind the devil. Give me a Revelations 18 and 4. We can switch out. Go ahead. Revelations 18 and 4. Let's go there. But that lifestyle, I know you said you have whatever before. Don't do it ever again. You understand me? Because God said don't do that crap ever again. That is not comely for you. That's not comely for anybody like me. That is not comely for any of the sons of God to do that, nor the daughters of God to do that. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. They say, Come out of her, my people. Come out of the ways of this land. To be a homosexual, that's of this land. They made that legal here. Now they're pushing all over the world, and if everywhere don't, don't agree, they bomb that place. They kill the president's off and put somebody else in there that's going to agree with that crap. And then, or, or you know what? It's all right. It's all right for you to be gay and be a drug dealer in your community. Don't even make sense. It's okay for you to do those things. You know what, sister? It's okay for you to go get on a stripper pole. And for let every man run up in you, and then when you get 30-something, now you want to get married. And now don't nobody want you because you've been ran through. Don't nobody teach that, but the Bible does. And that's what we come out here to do is tell our people to stop that crap. Because what we would rather do is to see our women grow up. You don't have, literally have daughters be cheerleaders with no clothes on when they this big. Three, four years old. Then they grow up, go to colleges. Now they on the little drum line teams with no clothes on there. Getting ran through there. Then they get in their 30s. You know what? Now I think it's about time for me to settle down now. You done been ran through by every dude. Don't nobody want you. But the men, same way. You got four, five, six kids by four, five, six mothers. You can't even take care of them. But our men and women would rather do that. And everybody in the church say, you know what? That's okay. We don't say that's okay. But God says that's not okay. You will die if you continue to live like that. He's going to kill you and you're going to have your part in that, set, in that lake of fire, which is the second death. Read that from the top again. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, uh -huh. Come out of her, my people, that she be not partakers of her sin. Do not take in the sins, take part in the sins of this land. Murder a black man, murder another black man. Another woman, she's sleeping with another man's woman. Well, shoot, well, look, matter of fact, yeah. Yeah, women sleeping with other men's women, and women sleeping with other women's husbands. All over the place. Straight confusion. God says, don't get caught up in their sins. Read on. And that you receive none of her plagues. And that you receive none of her plagues. You know what plagues is coming here, bro? Bombs. Right. Nuclear fire. Right. How you going to get out? How they going to get out over here? We can't get out of that. Only way we get out of that is if God intervenes. And he already said that's what he's going to do. That's why everybody be seeing little UFOs and all that stuff. So they call them UFOs. That's why they all over the internet now. That's because they get in place for you if you repent. If you don't repent, you're going to burn right here. Read that from the top again. Read it straight through. I want them to hear it straight through. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. And that ye receive none of her plagues. Give me Romans 1. Let's go to Romans 1, I think, 22 or 25. Whichever one. We're going we gonna to keep on dealing with this sodomite spirit that our people have that TV is pushing on our men. The dirty Christian church is pushing that spirit. Sunday worship churches are pushing the spirit. You know who over the choir? The man that sleeps with all the men. 
Hey, hey. over the choir, leading people in Christian and in God, godly songs. Hey, Are you for real? And then literally they'll be the same ones jumping around, acting stupid. And I said stupid because God called them stupid. Because hey. he called them sodish children. Sodish children means stupid children. Hey, well, our people sit up, but we won't tell the truth to each other. So we walk around, you know, I, I don't want to offend nobody. I don't want to judge anybody. But God told us to judge each other and tell each other, stop sinning. Correct each other. Don't be in homosexuality. Stop breaking the Sabbath day. Quit selling stuff on the Sabbath day. Quit working on the Sabbath day. But our people won't listen. And then they wonder why when they go home, they have not enough money then. How you going to work all the time and never have enough money? Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. My familia is the 12. Chapter 1, verse 24. Yeah, you know. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness uh -huh. through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of our people's own heart, God gave us over to uncleanness. Read on. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. To dishonor our own bodies between ourselves. That's why a woman would think it's okay to lay with a woman. That's why a man would think it's okay to lay with another man. Because they are doing that to themselves. And God said, I'm going to allow it. Just to kill you at the end. Read on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. And that's exactly what this land did. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Now they say it's okay. Now they say it's alright for you to do whatever the heck you want to do. No. God just said for them to walk around and saying that's okay for another man to lay with a man and a woman with a woman. That is a lie. They are changing the truth of God into lies. Read on. And worship the creature more than the creator. Our people follow men before they follow God. Our people follow the ways of men before they will follow God. Read. Who is blessed forever. Uh -huh. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affection. A vile affection is homosexuality. You got, you got men wanting to lay with their little nieces. You got the old men in the house sleeping with the darn daughters and stuff. That's vile affection. God said, I'm going to allow you to destroy yourselves, and I'm going to kill you after all of it, because you will not do what he said. That's what God said to his people. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's people. That's why all these things plague our community, but we play around with God all the time. All the time. And we will not do what he said, and we'll read the Bible, but they will say they love God, but won't do what it says. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It said the woman will change her natural use to go against God. A natural use of a woman is to bring forth children. How you going to do that with another woman? They'll tell you, you know what, man, with men, men, I can't stand them. But then you'll go lay with a woman that's trying to be like a man. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. How you, are you going to be with a man, a woman that's trying to act like a man? Why not get the real thing? That's stupid. Why in the world would our people live like that? That's just like a Jewish man knowing he ain't the real one. Our people turn around and believe they're the real one. And they're telling you they're not the real ones. But our people are run with it anyway. Same thing go with our women. You know what? I would rather, rather sleep with another woman that's trying to be like a man than you know what to get the real thing. Freaking ridiculous, man. Read on. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. And it said likewise the men. Now our men will leave the natural use. Now they'll go sleep with another man. <laughs> because how he gonna bring forth a child? Zeus, how you gonna bring forth a child if that's what you're doing? You want a family? You wanna recreate yourself? You wanna have righteous children? How do you do that if, if you're sleeping with men? You can't do it, you're creating genocide. That is killing your own people. Why don't they push that into other communities? Why they're not pushing homosexuality in all the other neighborhoods, but in yours, that's all you see on TV. The rapper's gay. The pastor's gay. The entertainers are gay. All of them gay. Why in the world aren't they doing that to everybody else? 
there are Chinese rappers tried to rap the same way black people do. They whole country shut his butt down and said, you rap another word like that, we'll kill you. But black people glorify that crap. We'll sit up there and listen to the, 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 the baby in them. We'll listen to uh, uh, Lil Nas X and them and think that crap cool when he's sitting up there in the dress destroying your mind. You do stuff because you see it on TV. You ain't even thinking for yourself. You're following what other people do. When God already told you what to do, but you didn't know it. But now that's why we are here to give it to you. Read on. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men which men, working that which is unseemly, and, re and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. Now, whenever somebody is in homosexuality, what, what does God mean when he says you're going to receive that recompense of your error? Meaning you're going to receive exactly what you deserve. What diseases plague our community, Zeus? What diseases come from being in homosexuality? How about AIDS? I'll make it simple for you. How about AIDS? How about syphilis and all that dumb stuff? So when our people are sleeping around, at one point in time, AIDS wasn't even affecting our community like that. Until they started pushing that homosexuality agenda in our neighborhood. Then it overtook the black community because our black men sitting up here putting AIDS in another man's turn behind. And then they turn around and then go sleep with women after they just got AIDS from a man. God said you received it with what was meat, meaning you got exactly what you deserve. Why don't Christian pastors talk about that? Why don't they do that? Because then everybody will leave and they won't get their little tithe money that they post that they want every week. Because they ain't supposed to get none of it. That ain't for them. They're supposed to be taking care of the people, not taking it from them. But what happens when our people get into homosexuality? Now we lead in AIDS. We lead in all bad diseases. What about the food we eat? Read on, because we're going to deal with that next. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, uh -huh. being filled with all unrighteousness. Jump down, jump down to, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 32, because our people must stop those different things. Read 32. Verse 32. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which, which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. It said that some of our people understand the commandments of God and know it's wrong to be in the homosexuality. Most Christian pastors know it's wrong. But this says that if you are okay with it and you don't speak up against it, you're just as guilty as the one committing the act. And that's what's going on over here. Our people are breaking the Sabbath day. That's why we mentioned it. Because we don't want to be held accountable for the sins they are committing right now. That's why I asked you because of your demeanor. You're actually carrying yourself in a feminine manner. As a woman, the way you hold yourself, the way you stand up is not manly. Matter of fact, give me 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? It said, look, don't you know, don't our people know that if you are unrighteous going against God, you will not get into the kingdom of heaven. That's what they're saying. Like, are you crazy? Don't you know that? Read. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. So it said, be not fornicators, not sleeping with every man, every woman on the planet. Not idolaters going after other gods. Not, uh, uh, what did it say again? Adulterers. Not adulterers sleeping with other married people. Committing adultery on your own wife. Or the women sleep with other married people. Or men sleeping with married people. That ain't theirs. Said, don't do that. Then it said, nor effeminate. So men are not allowed to even act like a woman. We can't even hold our bodies and talk like a woman. We can't dress like them. We can't look like them. We can't carry ourselves like them in what in no way whatsoever. God says if you do, you do not get the kingdom of heaven. But I'm going to read something to you. Read on. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Read nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards. So we can't be thieves, we can't be going after stuff that ain't ours, and we can't be drunkards. Can't be out here getting drunk all day. We haven't seen that since we've been here. Read. 
no revilers, uh -huh. no extortioners uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. It said none of these people shall inherit the kingdom of God. You know what an extortioner is? Somebody that takes advantage of people and takes the money. Don't you think every company that is open on a Sabbath day is doing that to us? Every single one of them. Because they understand on this day you're going to spend the most money with them. So they'll give you the discounts. Or they'll open a business up and make it cheap for today. You could have went the whole week, but they left it open on the Sabbath day to take advantage of you. That's extortion. Our old people do it to themselves too, just like we see right now. That's extortion. We don't. But, and such were some of you. And it said, and such were some of you. We're reading about the apostles then and the, and the people that followed God, the disciples back then. Just said, look, some of y'all was the same way. But y'all repented now. Some of us used to do the same stuff. But we repenting now. We stopped. That's what God is saying. So even though our people are caught up in these things, we still must come out of them. Read on. We'll close up. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And that's now we are cleaned by God. That is baptism. Right. Now we've been baptized because we heard the commandments and we stopped. Right. Not getting dipped in the water, homosexual, and coming out of homosexual. Right. Not dipped in the water, breaking the Sabbath, and coming up, breaking the Sabbath. That's not what that means. Right. Being baptized means to stop sinning. Right. And that's what we are doing. That's what we're trying to teach our people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.